I got all the everything off that I can. The drawers don't come out, so I have to leave them on. I just took the handles off. And now I'm going to go in with this. It's called Crud Cutter Gloss Off. It removes the sheen of like laminate stuff. And it's just pre-paint surface preparation. That's like what it's for. Um, I emptied it into this spray bottle back here and I have some rags. I watched a lot of videos of people who have done this before painting their cabinets and stuff in an RV specifically because they're not like real wood. Um, they're more of a laminate and this was very highly recommended to clean things and get them ready for primer because the most important thing when you paint and prime is not that it won't stick, but it won't stay when it dries, like you could rub it off really easy. So the prep work is what's important from what I've learned anyway. Everybody has a million different ways of doing this, this is just what I found to be the most popular, most common. So I'm going to use this crud cutter, I'm going to wipe down every single surface before I start priming. I have my paint or my primer right here and I'm just like a little bit nervous because once I start and I do this there's like no turning back I can't change my mind but I don't want to change my mind I'm fine with it I it just it's a little bit nerve-wracking but I'm gonna get the first stroke <laughs> on camera there I did it <laughs> time to prime guys I have finished priming the bedroom now all of this is done first and second coats of primer as well as this wall right here and this wall this tiny section so next I'll have to prime the doors um, and then we can get to painting because that's all I'm doing in the bedroom is painting so exciting but the primer is done you guys it's finally time to start in with the color I let the primer all dry overnight even though it didn't really have to. I was just like at a good spot to stop so I stopped. Now the primer has two full coats, it's completely covered and it's ready to go in with the color. So the bedroom is going to be like the darker of the greenish blue, I don't really know what to call it but the color is called Grey Huron I believe. I started talking about this earlier but I don't think I finished my train of thought. I'm doing three different colors to kind of separate the three different spaces. So the bedroom is going to be a darker green blue kind of like grayish hued. It's all kind of like a mix <laughs> of that kind of color. And then the bathroom I went with a lighter color like a light tannish cream. And then the kitchen is going to be all one like in between kind of lighter green blue color so I really thought that they all go really well together and it would be good to kind of separate each of my spaces. I'm very excited to get the color on these cabinets so let's just get going. <laughs> I have a second coat done there so you can kind of see the difference. It's just a lot thicker and more covered. 
and I think it looks really nice so far. I'm really happy with it, so yay. Here it is. So yeah, it looks really good. And then I did this wall is all done, as well as this wall is all done as well. So I've completely finished painting in the bedroom. Yay! So what's next is figuring out what I want to do for curtains in here because I'm not putting the valances back up and I'm taking the blinds off. So I need to make two sets of curtains for everywhere, but that is gonna be a Joanne's trip that I have to make. Besides that, I still have to paint the cabinet doors and all that stuff. I haven't even started those. So those will have to get sanded and primed and painted with new hardware on them before I can call this room done. So there's still a bit of work to do, but it's kind of coming together and I really like how it looks so far. So that is all for tonight and we'll see what I get done then tomorrow. <laughs> okay, goodbye. So today is absolutely beautiful outside. So it's a perfect day to be outside doing my doors. I'm gonna start with my bedroom doors since that's all already painted. And I'm going to take all the hardware off, sand them just a little bit, prime and paint them. So that's what we're doing this, this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, not this morning. I only have four doors for my bedroom and three of them are very small. So this shouldn't take too long, I'm hoping. These are square like screws and I don't have a square bit but my dad has so much stuff and he has one that fits, thank goodness, because I wouldn't have been able to take these off. I figure the easiest way to keep all my screws and hardware from getting mixed together is to just take these little plastic cups that I found in my house and label them. So I'm gonna write like, I'm just gonna write bedroom on there and then put all my hardware in it so that I don't get things mixed up. I mean, the screws are mostly the same for everything, but this is like good for like hinges and these things and stuff, so I don't know if it's the best way to do it, but that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Open up and climbing. Many times I wanna let go. As you saw, <laughs> it is raining, it's like sprinkling now. But my parents went on a motorcycle ride because it wasn't supposed to rain today at all. I texted them and I was like, I hope you guys aren't getting too soaked. And my mom's like, we're okay so far, but they've been stopping a lot on their trip. It happens because they're just trying to wait the rain out. But You guys, I'm trying my darndest to remember if I told you what my theme was for my camper. I'm picking things that I like, but I do have a theme that I'm going off of. And I don't know if I said it, but if I didn't say it before, I'm going for like a coastal boho look. So I chose very bluish greens, because I wanted a beachy look, but I wanted it to be like very toned down beachy. I didn't want it to be like 
in-your-face seashells and beach pictures all over the wall. Like, that wasn't my vibe, so I need to focus for these edges. <laughs> Also, now that I'm working outside, I, it has to be it because that's the only thing that's changed. This primer is like drying so fast, which is good, but it's like drying faster than I can paint it on. So it's getting really sticky <laughs> when I try to move it around, which again, I'm glad it's drying fast because that's speeding up this process, but it's making it a little difficult to actually spread like paint. Okay, that one's second coat is done. You guys, today has been the first like really, really nice day in a while. I don't mind the heat, I really don't, so I'm not complaining about that. But it's been a bit sticky for my liking, and today was not humid at all. It was still like 80 something. It was perfect. sale at Menards for much cheaper than I was going to buy them but they're silver not gold as you can see so I went the cheap route <laughs> I did the cheap solution and I bought gold spray paint two things of it because I have 35 pulls to spray paint so I have to open all of these packages take the pulls out line them up on here put it out in the grass so I don't get spray paint on them and then spray paint them. Time to pull all these apart. <laughs> I ordered a bunch of stuff. I'm about to put the doors back on. Are you ready for this transformation? I don't think you guys are ready. 